This is Module 5, Lesson 20. In this lesson, we'll be using visual models to add two fractions with related units in the denominators. Let's start with this number sentence, 1 third plus 1 six equals. Now we know that we can't add fractions together if the units are different. And in this one, the units are different. We have thirds and we have sixths. So we need to change one of the fractions, or both of the fractions sometimes, so that they have the same denominators. Let's look at this with a tape diagram. And let's show the first fraction as 1 third. And we're going to draw a same size hole and show the second fraction. 1 sixth. So this is 1 third and this is 1 sixth. Now we're going to need, need to decompose one of the fractions so that it has the same units as the other one. So we can decompose 1 third into sixth. And we see when we do that, we now have 2 sixths being equivalent to 1 third. So we can do 2 six plus 1 six. We now have the same units, which would be equal to 3 six. So since 1 third and 2 six are equivalent, therefore 1 third plus 1 six equals 3 six. Let's look at 1 half plus 1 eighth. And again, let's draw a tape diagram to show our first fraction, which is 1 half. And the second fraction, 1 eighth. And we can decompose the larger units into the smaller by decomposing the 1 half into eighths. And when we see now, here we have 4 eighths being equivalent to 1 half. And we have the 1 eighth that we started with. So when we add 4 eighths plus 1 eighth, we get 5 eighths. And since 1 half and 4 eighths are equivalent. 1 half plus 1 eighth is 5 eighths. We could also show this using a number line. Let's take 1 sixth plus 3 twelfths. So let's first draw a number line and show 1 sixth. So this would be 1 sixth. And now we want to add 3 twelfths. So we're going to need to decompose the sixths into twelfths. And from 1 sixth, we're going to go forward 3 twelfths. We're going to add 1, 2, 3 twelfths. And we see that that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twelfths. So 1 sixth plus 3 twelfths would be 5 twelfths. And looking at another one, 3 fourths plus 5 eighths. Now before we can draw a number line, we have to decide if the sum is going to be between 0 and 1 or 0 and 2, or, or 1 and 2. And looking at this, we see 3 fourths is greater than a half and 5 eighths is greater than a half. So if we add two fractions together that are greater than a half, we know that our sum is going to be greater than 1. So when we draw a number line, we need to draw 0 to 1 and 1 to 2. Then we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to start with force to plot our first fraction, which is 3 force. And now in order to go forward 5 eighths, we're going to need to decompose by dividing each fourth in half so that we have eight total 
breaks between 0 and 1 and 1 and 2. And starting with 3 fourths, we're going to move forward 5 eighths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're going to end up here, which would be 11 eighths or 1 and 3 eighths. Here's 1, and it's 1, 2, 3 eighths. So 3 fourths plus 5 eighths would be 1 and 3 eighths. <clears throat> we can also use what we know to add two fractions with related denominators without using a model. We go back to what we learned about equivalent fractions, and we see that 5 and 10 are related numbers because 5 is a factor of 10. And if I want to decompose the fifths into tenths, I would decompose the numerator by 2 and the denominator by 2 and get a fraction equivalent to 2 fifths of 4 tenths, which I can now add to the 3 tenths for a resulting sum of 7 tenths. Let's try some in our problem set. The directions say to use a tape diagram to represent each add end and then to decompose one of the tape diagrams to make like units. Then we're going to write the completed number sentence and part A is partially done. So we drew a tape diagram to show one fourth and using a same size hole a tape diagram to show one eighth and then decomposed the fourths into eighths. So we now see that we have two eighths plus one eighth. The total would be three eighths. Pause the video and try B. Okay, for B, we can draw a tape diagram to represent the first fraction as one fourth. and a second tape diagram using the same size hole and we're going to divide it into twelfths and show one twelfth. So in order to add them we need to decompose the force into twelfths And we see that 1 fourth is equal to 3 twelfths. So adding 3 twelfths plus 1 twelfth, we get 4 twelfths. So 1 half plus 1 twelfth is 4 twelfths. Pause the video and try C. So for C, we start out with 2 sixths. And we have 2 6. And for the second, we have 1 third. And we can decompose the th thirds into 6 by dividing each third in half. And we now see for 1 third, it's equivalent to 2 6. So 2 6 plus 2 6 equals 4 6. So 2 6 plus 1 third is equal to 4 6. Pause the video and try D. Okay, we start with 1 half. And then we're going to show 3 eighths. And we're going to decompose the halves into eights. And we see that this is equal to four eights. So adding, we have four eights plus three eights equals seven eights. So since four eights is equivalent to one half, one half plus three eights is equal to seven eights. Try E. 
Start with three tenths. This is three tenths. And the second is three fifths. And we're going to decompose the fifths into tenths by dividing each fifth into two equal sized pieces. And we see that this is equal to six tenths. So adding three tenths plus six tenths equals nine tenths. So three tenths plus three fifths equals nine tenths. And finally, try F. And to start with two thirds, and then two ninths, and we're going to decompose the thirds into ninths. So we have six ninths and the two ninths. So six ninths plus two ninths equals eight ninths. So two thirds plus two ninths equals eight ninths. For two, it says to estimate to determine if the sum is between zero and one or one and two, and then draw a number line to model the addition. Then write a complete number sentence. Part A has been completed. So here, 1 half plus 1 fourth, we would get a sum less than 1. So our number line only needs to go from 0 to 1. And we start by dividing into halves. And we mark our 1 half. And then to move forward by a fourth, we're going to decompose the halves into fourths. We move forward 1 fourth and end up with 3 fourths. So estimate, draw your number line, and write the addition sentence for B. <clears throat> so 1 half plus 4 tenths is going to be less than 1, since 5 tenths would be a half, and a half plus a half would be a whole. So if it's 4 tenths, it's going to be less than 1. So our number line only needs to go from 0 to 1. And we're going to start by dividing it in half and marking one half. Then we're going to decompose into tenths. So from one half, we're going to move forward four tenths. One, two, three, four. And we'll end up here at nine tenths. So one half plus four tenths will be 9 tenths. Okay. Try C. So for C, 6 tenths is going to be greater than 1 half. And if we're going to add a half, something greater than a half to a half, we know we need to extend our number line from 0 to 2. And we're going to start by showing 1 half. And then we need to decompose into tenths. So if we start at 1 half and we go forward 6 tenths, We're going to end up at 1 and 1 tenth. So 6 tenths plus 1 half would be 1 and 1 tenth. Try D. So 
So again, two thirds is greater than a half and three sixths is equal to a half. So we're gonna have a sum that's greater than one. So we need to show that on our number line, extending it to two. So we'll start by dividing into thirds and we're starting at two thirds. Now we'll need to decompose into six to move forward. So we're gonna go forward three, six, and end up here, which would be one and one sixth. So two thirds plus three sixths would be one and one sixth. Try E. Here we see 3 fourths is greater than a half and 6 eighths is greater than a half. So again, we need a number line that extends to 2. And we're going to start by dividing it into fourths. And we're going to mark 3 fourths. And then to move forward into eighths, we need to divide each fourth in half, so we end up with eighths. So starting at three-fourths, we're gonna go forward six eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, to end up here. And here we have one and one, two, three, four eighths. So one and four eighths, or one and a half. And finally, try F. Looking at these two fractions, six fifths is already greater than one. So we know our sum's gonna be greater than one. So we'll start with fifths. And our, for, we have six fifths, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna decompose the fifths into tenths and go forward four tenths, one, two, three, four. So we're gonna end up at one and one, two, three, four, five, six tenths. For number three, it says to solve the following addition problem without using a model. So pause the video and try that one. Okay, looking at the denominators, we see that three is a factor of six. So we're gonna decompose the thirds into six by multiplying the numerator and denominator by two. So we're decomposing both the numerator and denominator and we end up with four six. And then we can add four six to four six and get eight six. And then since that has a numerator greater than the denominator, we know that we can change this into a mixed number. So six six is one, plus two six left would be one and two six. And that ends lesson 20.